YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. So today I just wanted to talk about a few things, announcements and releases from this last week with Funko. Pretty light week, nothing really too crazy that dropped, but a couple of things I do think were still worth mentioning. And also want to give away this Cheshire Cat. So everyone who entered the giveaway, stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll find out who the winner of this Cheshire Cat is. So let's get right into these announcements. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So if you don't mind, take the two seconds and hit that like button down below. I really would appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So I just wanted to kind of talk about a few things that dropped this past week. Like I said, a pretty light week as far as new Funko Pops that were released. Hopefully, um, you know, we get some more information for the following week. Um, I still haven't seen a Christmas bundle from Funko this year. I don't know if that's something we'll be getting. Um, I've been waiting all week for Funko to announce something. Seems like this year we might not get one. I know that Symbiote Spider-Man that came out last week has that little Christmas sticker so that may be all we're getting as far as Christmas pops but if anybody else has any more information I'd be happy to know so drop down in the comment section below if you guys have heard anything but like I said a few things that are coming out next year um, that were announced this week uh, the first being the Valentine's Day Day uh, Star Wars pops I thought these were pretty cool I'm not a Star Wars collector but for people that are Star Wars collectors I think it's a pretty cool looking I'm not a big Valentine's Day uh, collector like I didn't get the, the Valentine's Day stitch uh, the Harley Quinn but I still appreciate them like them for what they are and all these pops look pretty dope um, I don't think I'll get any of them but you know having Darth Vader and pink is pretty cool and I'm sure the Star Wars collectors will eat these ones up um, just because they look so different and uh, look pretty cool so it's definitely something worth mentioning there is four I think it's Darth Vader Stormtrooper Chewbacca and Yoda so all four pretty cool ones and uh, definitely worth mentioning the cool things that were announced by Funko this week so up next is a pretty cool set that Funko has announced. They've done pops for this in the past, um, but I think this is the first time they've done a whole set, and that's the Garbage Pail Kids stuff. So there's four pops that are announced. I'm sure there'll be other ones uh, coming later in the line with store exclusives, you know, maybe Funko Shop or you know, um, you know, maybe even a con exclusive. But uh, Garbage Pail Kids seem to be making a comeback. Uh, my boy Doggy actually got me um, to buy one of those Garbage Pail Kids uh, packs, the chrome ones. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I will be opening that on my second channel, uh, Savage Breaks. If you're interested, check out that channel. I do open up a bunch of different cards, Pokemon, sports, I guess Garbage Pail Kids at this point. But these these pops are really, really dope. Um, I do have the Atom Bomb pop, but I've never seen, these ones are not out yet. Um, the one I like the most is that Alligator. I think it's really, really dope. But all of them are really, really cool. Garbage Pail Kids, I grew up having the cards. I didn't really collect them. I was always giving to them, giving some to me in passing. Um, and I just always thought they were cool. They're really unique, really funny, and the designs are really dope. Um, so I think these are all four really cool uh, Funko Pops. And I don't think you can get wrong getting any of them. And the whole set looks really dope. And uh, I definitely can see them making more of these in the future. All right, so next, guys, we have a pop that I don't think was really announced this week, but it was made available this week, and is the Walt Disney and Cinderella Castle pop. This one to me is very, very cool. Um, I normally stay away from the bigger pops now just because my room has gotten so full of pops and storage is kind of overflowing. So a lot of bigger pops I kind of stay away from. But this one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that for too long. Um, I'm kind of waiting to hope it goes on clearance like a lot of the Disney parks uh, pops tend to do. But this one's really cool. I think it's the first Walt Disney pop we've gotten. And uh, it's an iconic castle. He's got Mickey in his hands. So, all things considered, this is an, a must-have pop for a Disney collector like myself, and really a cool one that I thought worth mentioning. I think this one's still available for order. It goes in and out of stock on like Disney Store. They might be available at the parks, um, but very, very cool pop. Definitely worth mentioning this video, and a really cool one for any Disney collector out there. All right, guys, and last but not least, I wanted to talk about pops that were actually announced today, and was really excited to get these um, pops made, and they are the Fruity Pebbles ones, the Barney, Rubble, and Fred. So Fred has himself some Fruity Pebbles in his bowl, and Barney has a Cocoa Pebbles. So I never was a Cocoa Pebbles guy growing up. I didn't really eat chocolate cereal, uh, Cookie Crisp, Count Chocula. That was never my thing. Um, I like the Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, 
Fruit Loops the Fruit ones. I always thought they were a little bit better. Drop down in the comment section below if you are Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles kind of person. Um, but I thought these pops were really cool. They are actually being made as official ad icons for Fruity Pebbles. Um, so they're gonna fit right into uh, my collection of cereal ones. Uh, I think I have all the cereal pops at this point, I believe. So this is definitely something I need to add to my collection. And I don't have any Flintstones pops. Um, the Flintstones pops were kind of expensive. They got up, up there in price. So it'd be really cool to add Fred and Barney to the collection. So these are a must have for me. I do believe they're available for pre-order. Uh, I do a link on the uh, descriptions for Entertainment Earth. They, I do believe they have them, so make sure you check them out. If you're interested in pre-ordering these, they are common, so they're not gonna be really too hard to get, but if you wanna make sure you get your hands on them and secure, check that link out down below. But very, very cool pops. I think these are uh, gonna be classic later in the line. Ad icons always are, and definitely something I don't think you should miss out on to add to your collection. So let's get right into the winner of the giveaway. Again, guys, I'm trying to do a giveaway once a week, so if you don't win this one, Make sure you watch every one of my videos because I will announce a uh, giveaway at least once a week in those videos So let's see who the winner is. All right guys. So we have our YouTube comment picker right here Let's see how many comments we got on this video. So it looks like we got 58. So very very cool And we're gonna pick a random commenter from this video and see who wins that Cheshire cat. Good luck to everybody Oh, they got they changed this up now so you can see people's picture all right, guys, so Caesar Cervantes, you've won Cheshire Cats. is fit perfectly into your collection. So really happy uh, you won this. And uh, like I said, guys, stay tuned for the next giveaway. Hit me up, Caesar, on Instagram or via email. All right, so congratulations to Caesar. Hit me up so I can send you out that Cheshire Cat. And uh, good luck to everybody else in the next giveaway. I'll be making more videos this week, so make sure you stay tuned for more information on the next pop. Got some pretty cool things to give away, so stay tuned for that. Let me know your thoughts on your favorite releases for this week as well, what you guys thought was good. I know normally I do like good and bad, and I really couldn't find anything bad this week outside of more restocks, but we all know that's coming. So let me know your thoughts. If you know anything about that Christmas bundle, drop down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe button. If you're interested in cards, hit me up on my second channel at Savage Breaks, and follow me on Instagram at ThePopSavage you can stay connected there too. Thanks so much for watching guys. I do appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you later.